How's it going, guys? I got this test fender here. I'm going to talk fast because the battery is very weak. I messed off half of it. Just mixed up a little bit of epoxy. I don't want to crack open the paint. And Ruben hasn't treated me to any Omni yet. So, mixed up a little epoxy. I want to just spray this one side with that gun, the old gun. Let's see what we get. Okay, guys. Two quick coats, and I didn't have enough of that gun. Was I put about this much in the cup? So I'm a real cheap, you know what? I wasn't gonna waste my material for no reason. I don't know if you guys could see it. So, almost perfectly flat, except for all the crap that's in it because I really didn't prep it. I ran across, I just threw a Scotch Bright paint across it, didn't even take the words off. So, it wasn't a matter of uh, how good we can get it, it was just a matter of how does it spray. Definitely got to get used to this because the fan is so much bigger. Okay, I covered that in like one pass. But that wasn't my problem. My problem was I couldn't lean the gun forward because I didn't have enough stuff in there. I'm spitting all over the place. But uh, if you could look at the table, you could see the amount of overspray on everything. I had the thing tipped up, you could see what the can was. So you do waste a lot more material. Uh, I didn't have enough material to even set a fan pattern. All I did was pull the trigger once. I said, that's it, I don't have enough material. Did what I did, call it good. So, definitely pleased with it. I don't know if anybody could see it. So like I said, don't go by the little fish eyes and dirt and junk in there. So, let that set up, I'll throw the fender outside. So, that's this gun right here, this is the Vilbus. This one's the MGB 501. That's what this one was. This was the one that looks like it was never sprayed. Looks like it was sprayed now. Even though I just cleaned it. Grabbed the uh, little regulator -y thing off the Harbor Freighter. Uh, I set the gun at 50 pounds. I remember shooting at 55 at the gun. With the same hose. So, because they do, you know, they do talk a lot about restriction and whatever it is. So, I'm going to go with whatever I used to do before. So, but that's it. I just figured I'd show you guys that uh, there's nothing wrong with old school. So, like I said, the fan was big. Uh, definitely a little bit more comes out than that other gun, you know, the HVLP. So you move a little faster, like I was familiar with. And um, I think it's all going to come back to me as I start to paint. This isn't a good test because... I messed off half the fender, did it half ass, didn't really prep the fender. What I should have did was, is I should have did half the fender with this gun and half the fender with that Harbor Freighter. And see if there's a texture difference on the same day. But I really don't want to waste my material on that. I am ordering another quart of uh, epoxy. Now that I'm going further on the car, I'm going to need it. I would have just had enough to do what I had to do, but now I'm not going to. I might be able to squeeze it out, but I'm, why bother? stuff's cheap enough and uh, I guess that's it guys so